All right, it's a when it's 80 degrees in the Salt Lake Valley, near 80 in Wendover, and at the same time it is snowing in Elko right now, and it is 34. Very strong winds of over 60 to 70 miles per hour. We have trailers that have been blown over. In fact, uh, wind gust in Logan's 58, 50, 52 that is in uh, Milford, Ogden 52, and the Bountiful Bench 49. Temperatures right now are in the 70s, but we'll take a nose dive, and I expect the front will be here in the Salt Lake Valley, somewhere between about 8 a.m. to midnight as this storm front develops and then there's the storm as it goes into motion turned over to snow right there in Elko and the Ruby Mountains and over towards the Pequops. This storm is actually moving northeastward so we're not going to have much in the way of precipitation here in Salt Lake City where it is 78 right now. What we are going to see is very strong gusty winds and these winds could topple trampolines. It could blow off the shingles. It could also uh, blow over fences. So we're talking about 40 to 60 mile per hour winds gusts over 60 along the Wasatch Front between now and midnight. So here's the front very very windy ahead of the front. Notice most of the precipitation goes away but the uh, winds continue very very windy throughout the day on Monday. The winds move into central and southeastern Utah in the afternoon. Isolated thunder showers will develop mainly across northern Utah and uh, it basically stays pretty quiet then on Tuesday. But look what happens Tuesday afternoon. It starts to get very wet. Showers and thunder showers develop and it turns a little bit warmer on Tuesday. Wednesday and Thursday are all going to be wet. So we have Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday in succession. Very, very wet. So the main weather word is windy. As the front works its way through eastern Utah during the day tomorrow, strong, gusty, shifting winds. Now, it'll still be in the 80s, but you'll notice the difference in temperature when the front goes through in the basin and around Castle Country. And boy, those winds in price will, will really howl from the northwest. Same thing in the southwest. Very strong, gusty, shifting winds tonight, blowing over high-profile vehicles if you're not careful. And then uh, we get a little up and a little down. And another storm moves in on Wednesday, St. George. Some wind with this storm. Wind on Tuesday and Wednesday and a chance for showers 23 degrees cooler than normal Wednesday. You should be 87 and you're 64. We do get 80 by Sunday, though. In the north, we'll uh, call for the winds tonight. Very heavy winds, strong gusty winds, then breezy tomorrow with isolated afternoon thunder showers. You can see we put that little thunder shower in over the Uintas. Temperature tomorrow, 57. We've been 80 today, 57 tomorrow. That is a 23 degree temperature drop and you will feel the difference. Breezy and breezy again on Tuesday. A little warmer ahead of the front. That's a secondary front. Showers and thunder showers developing Tuesday, continuing as periods of rain locally heavy at times on Wednesday with some rain on Thursday, showers on Friday. And right now the weekend, I put a big question mark on. I don't trust the computer charts. I put mostly cloudy, but I'm going to have some folks mad at me if I say it's going to rain on the weekend, but it possibly could. Okay. Thanks, Dan. Thanks, Dan. I know it's copyrighted, but it's the final four. It and is. It's it, the NBA's it, final exactly. four. Exactly.